guys happy uh sunday kind of behind but i wanted to catch you all up um on some things that's been going on so i am having to go to the emergency room i was having some pain on my left side well on my left side oh since before i found out i was pregnant so and then I had some like sharp pains on my right side where I know I had the cyst. I have a shoulder pain, pain like pain inside my shoulder, it's pains and things like that. So I did end up going to the emergency room, and I wanted to just check to make sure I didn't have a cyst. Although I know like the couple of scans that I did get before. Now this walls is. Let me go in the house. All right. So, um, back to whatever I was talking about. So, yeah, I went to the emergency room for that. Um, I wanted to see if I could get checked for a cyst. Um, and to make sure, like, they didn't miss anything, like, ectopically or anything like that. So, he told me that, and also I wanted to make sure I didn't have a urinary tract infection because I usually easily get those when pregnant. So I wanted to check for that as well because my, my back was hurting as well. So um, he came in, the doctor came in and told me they don't do ultrasounds, which he could have said anymore because they used to. So he was saying they don't do ultrasounds anymore. Well, he just said, they don't do ultrasounds unless the baby is dead or there's a risk for a topic. And I was just kind of taken aback. I'm like, well, how you don't know my baby is dead or not? Like, how y'all don't know? How do y'all know what's going on? So, anyway, he was like, based that you had a scan since you've been pregnant, um, then they know that the pregnancy is in the right place. And also, um, dead babies don't cause pain. <laughs> yeah, I was just taken aback. I was just like, "What? Since when don't they cause pain?" And so, um, also my other thing was like, just because we know one baby is implanted in the uterus, doesn't mean there can't be another one in the in the um in the tube or anything like that. Um. So, I was just really shaking, like, y'all just don't understand. You hear about people um, getting treated a certain way. And he was really nice about it. I mean, I mean, he was really nice, but you can't put niceness past anyone. So, um, he was just, you know, he was just basically talking and saying, but we, I want to check you for your urinary tract urinary tract infection and I was like okay well at least you're gonna do that and he said he'll do blood work so we checked my which at that point I'm like if you're willing to do draw beta and not ultrasound what's the point like this one and the same to me because we're going to based off one beta draw what what good is that gonna do if you are drawing the beta to see if it's in the correct place um at the correct stage then wouldn't that imply that okay maybe let me draw the beta in case her levels are low hence a dead baby you get what i'm saying so like if they wouldn't do an ultrasound because i was having pain why would you draw beta if i if you know i have an alive baby anyway i just took it and said okay so, um, I sat there for a while. Urine was fine. Uh, beta was 77,600 and something. So, um, of course, you know, you're supposed to follow with your doctor. So, <sighs> that was a Sunday. I called. I wrote a message Monday morning to my doctor, doctor's office, 
and explain to them. And they told me to call in to schedule an appointment. Uh, it would be good to be seen. So this was last Sunday and today is Sunday. So it was exactly a week ago um, from emergency visit. Um, so I get to my appointment that Tuesday. They did a scan and I'll insert the picture. So once they did the scan, so everything was fine. I had no cyst. Um, even my corpus luteum looked like it was, you know, it looked like it had ruptured because it wasn't the same, um, before as before. So, uh, um, I'm not sure about that, but. Everything else was fine. And I went to see the doctor. And I, I tried to explain to her. You know, I wanted to ask her about. I know blood pressure drops during pregnancy. To, you know, because I probably increased blood flow and things like that. Blah, blah. So, um, well, your vessels constrict. Y'all know. Y'all know. But anyway, but I wanted to know, like, how low was too low because. When my low, when my blood pressure drops, I know it. I feel like complete trash. Like, I feel like my body is just about to shut down. And I asked her, I said, well, how low is too low? Because I said, although I know it drops during pregnancy, I know this normal. But I wanted to know how low was too low. Because when you're not pregnant, and it anything under 90 or 60 is is low it's like you know low and i remember before i even found out i was pregnant well i think it was may the 2nd when i had to see my primary care doctor it was like 96 over 60 i think something like that and i remember her asking me is my blood pressure normally this low and i told her no so i know that was the first issue there but, of course, I wasn't pregnant at that time. So, um, of course, now during pregnancy, I would not expect it to get that. Now, my blood pressure normally runs between, the top number normally goes between 105 and maybe 1 and less than 120. Like, it doesn't get to 120, but it's like maybe 111, 115. It just depends on what I'm doing. And then the bottom number is like 70. 70 something like my blood pressure is kind of like good like just good but never just randomly or during the doctor appointment check my blood pressure and it's been under 100 other than a time or two or a few where I felt bad and so I explained to her I was trying to explain to her um I said, well, I know it's low because, like, I feel I feel horrible. And she was like, well, yeah, you're pregnant. I'm like, okay, yeah, but I get that, but not, like, the way I feel is not, like, a pregnant horrible. It's not, like, it's, like, I was, at the time, I couldn't even think of the words I was trying to say. I was, like, well, my body just feels like it's trying to. And I couldn't really just say it's just a weird feeling. So she was putting it, the notes in the computer or whatever. She was like, well, I'm just going to put weird feeling. But now thinking like, y'all, my body feels like it's about to shut down. And I don't, I don't, I get really irritable. I'm just laying around moping. Um, It's like, it's like my body is tired and sleepy, but my mind is not. Like, I want to get up and do stuff, but it's like my eyes just want to shut. It's not like a sleepy, like I need to go to sleep. But it's like my body is trying to force me, force my eyes to shut. And I'm just fighting from the inside out to stay alive or stay awake. Um, so it's, you know, and, you know, I was talking and, she, and then like she was talking over me. Well, yeah, that's completely normal. And she's a sweet doctor. But I don't know. This pregnancy is just like in all of the things that they've changed in the hospital since, especially since I've had my first two, they've changed a lot in the last few years. And um, 
I don't think I like it. I don't like it at all. Because when I got the ultrasound, which I'm not nitpicking about, but um, when I got the ultrasound, the tech was like, we don't listen to the heartbeats in here, um, but I'll let you see it, you know, with the little, the uh, monitor. They pull up the monitor, but they don't let you, they don't, they say they don't let you hear it, which they, come on now, they used to do this stuff. So I don't know what it is or why they're getting away from this stuff, but it's really annoying. So, um, so anyway, while talking to the doctor, uh, yeah, she was just kind of basically just talking on me. Well, there's no one there's no one there, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just still thinking to myself, like, something is really bothering me about it. I'm like, no, I don't feel like this is normal. Um, and what was bothering me even more was the fact that she was saying, well, if you just feel like if you just feel terribly bad when your blood pressure is low, then yeah, that might be a problem. Well, that's what I'm telling you. Why not understand that? So I'm like, I'm sitting here trying to explain to you, I feel terribly bad when my, pr when my pressure is low. But yet you keep talking over me saying, you're not letting me get it out that I feel this bad. You just think that I'm talking about, oh, I'm just sleepy or I'm just tired. No, I'm I'm trying to tell you, but you keep talking over me. You know, I couldn't even think because everything that was coming out of my mouth, she just, oh, it's normal. And I hate to even talk about it like that, but that was so annoying when you're sitting there telling me that if your pressure is low, and you feel terribly bad then that might be a problem but she was like if your pressure is low and you just and you feel okay then it's not a problem ma'am i feel bad but anyway so i debated and try, i was trying to figure out if i wanted to find another doctor plus i'll still have to figure that out anyway because i did go ahead and apply for medicaid for pregnant women and if I get approved for that, I'm definitely going to have to move because she doesn't accept Medicaid anymore. So, there's that. Um, and even if, even if we don't, I just feel like I want to get, um, like, and, and also, I don't know how often, I can't remember, I think I remember, but I don't remember. How often they get ultrasounds, and I know we get appointments every four weeks, but I'm used to like seeing, getting seen every two weeks. And with this pregnancy being just unplanned, unexpected, um, the way that I'm feeling, I really just feel like I need to be monitored some more. Like something is really going on with my levels, hormones, and I explained that to her as well. So she said that she would go ahead and run. Um, they were going to go ahead and do the blood work. That appointment, because my appointment, next appointment was on the 29th, um, but since I went in that day, they went ahead and did it. So I asked her, would they check my, are they checking prolactin, progesterone? And she said no. So I'm like, what, you know, I'm like, well, shoot, if y'all not checking that, what are y'all checking? I know they do the, um, well, at the time I wasn't thinking, but um, I, they do the, HIV, syphilis, you know, the STD panel, things like that. The NIPT, if you choose to, and um, genetic screening, if you, genetic testing, if they, if you choose to. But I didn't do the NIPT or the genetic. So I'm like, okay, if y'all not, why y'all not checking my prolactin? If y'all know I have issues with my prolactin, why you not checking my progesterone? If you know I have trouble with um, getting pregnant and um, preterm pre labor. So, um, I asked her, I said, okay, well, can we go ahead and check my prolactin? Because I was in the middle of seeing my endocrinologist and all of that. And, uh, of course, he wanted to know when I got pregnant. But I'm probably not going to tell him because I have another appointment with the new endocrinologist. But anyway... Um, yeah, so 
then I've been having like um, floaters in my eyes and I have lattice degeneration. I was seeing an ophthalmologist before I got pregnant. I was seeing all of that. And my eyes have started hurting and I've started getting headaches. So I wanted to keep tabs on my prolactin and my, um, you know, my eyes and my tumor or whatever. She said, okay, we'll go ahead and do prolactin. And then I also asked her, are they checking my vitamin levels and my vitamin D? And I think I asked her something else. And she said, well, vitamin D, you can't take more than 4,000 IU or 4,000 something during pregnancy anyway. So I'm glad I did ask about that. She was like, good question. She was like, because are you low? I said, yeah, I'm chronically low. She was like, okay, well, just make sure you take enough vitamin D. Take your prenatals and you should be good. Um, And then once you deliver, you know, you can go from there and go back to the dose that you need to go to get a recheck and, and adjust from there. So, because I was taking, I think, two vitamin D pills and then I was taking my prenatal. So I'm like, I'm glad I did ask her about it because I might have been taking too much. But then I thought, then I found out after that with my prenatal gummies, you're supposed to take four dabs, only taking one. So I was good there. Um, but, well, I don't know because my vitamin D pills, I think they're 5,000, I think, or 1,000, something like that. They're a lot. But anyway, so she was walking out the door and she, when she said that. So she was like, good question, my wow. So then she walked on out. And then I went to the last to get my blood work. Got that done. And then she, well, she, before the doctor left out, she told me, she was like, okay, well, your results might not come for a week. She says the nurse um, may not put them in your portal or call you. She said, but, which I thought was strange because I thought anytime you get blood work, they'll at least put it in your portal. But she said they won't put it in your portal or they won't call you um, unless something, uh, because she knows about my anemia, she said, unless they need to, uh, unless something is wrong or I'm extremely anemic, anemic. So I was like, okay, yeah, you know, whatever. But I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, these are something I really need to know. Like, why don't they check more than this in the beginning of pregnancy, especially the way I was feeling. But anyway... That was Tuesday. Went about my day Wednesday, Thursday. Friday, I get a call. I didn't notice a call at the time. But then when I picked up my phone, I, some minutes later, it was like unknown caller. I was like, what? I noticed I had a voicemail. So I checked, went to the voicemail and it said unknown caller. Unknown number or unknown something. And I'm like, what, what is this? And so I clicked on it. You know, they do the transcription for the messages. And it said, um, and I listened to it as well while I was reading it. It said, hey, this is um, Jennifer. I was calling you to let you, cause, because I have some results I want to give you, and to call her back. So I called her back after that. And then they say, well, Jennifer's gone for the day. And at this point, it's twelve, like 12 o'clock. Jennifer's gone for the day. Um, I will leave a message and she will call you back on Monday. Y'all, that is the worst thing. Like, it didn't worry me, but I was excited to know if it was something that I wanted to hear regarding maybe anemia or why I've been feeling so bad so that I could go ahead and get ahead of it. So... I'm sorry to keep sniffing, but my nose is stopped up and it's normally only does this at night, but the last few days it's been all day. So, um, and that's so annoying, but anyway, so yes, yeah, so I'm like, that's why would you, and she had not even caught me. Why would you call me and not tell me what it is? Like, They, they would normally do that. Or put it in my portal. She didn't even put it in my portal. Why? Like, I like I this is the kind of stuff that I don't understand. 
and it's a no it's it's irritating it's frustrating and it's only making me push my choice to go ahead and find another doctor's office I want something more small and intimate <sighs> but I know that might be hard to find Um, but yeah, so I'm like, okay, well now I have to wait till Monday to see what the heck she's talking about. And it better not be nothing. like, I'm like, lady, why didn't you, uh, I'm going to ask her. Oh, I'm going to ask her. Why didn't you put this in my portal? Why didn't you send me a message? You made me wait the whole weekend. Especially if it's something that I needed to know. Especially if it's something, why would you call me right before you leave? And what number did you call me from? Why did he say unknown? Because I wouldn't have answered that anyway. You get what I'm saying? It just... I don't even know who Jennifer is. I've never even met a Jennifer nurse. My, ner my doctor's nurse is another lady. And then another one. And then another one that answers the phone. And then the one that does the... Like, who is Jennifer? So, I don't know. But that's going to be something I'm going to have to see about on Monday. But um, tomorrow. And I'm going to call bright and early. As soon as I get up. But, um, yeah. So, other than that. I've just been laying around. i still been doing hair. I want to quit. I'm just not a people person when I'm pregnant. I've never been. And I don't understand why. And I think it's because oh, well, it's it's been after my first for sure. I just don't like dealing with people. And everything that people do irritates me. I think it's because people have just really let me down. Well, I feel like people have let me down and like listen to me. And when I'm pregnant, I'm in protective mode. Like, I got to protect and advocate for myself at all costs by any means. And, like, the, the annoyance I get from people is real. Real. I don't like to fool with people. There are only select few, which I can count on one hand. And it's not that it's many, like, um, like intentional. But my hormones are not good. Like, I snapped on a lady the other day before I even thought about it. Because she said something about my son. I guess I should give you guys a belly shot. I want to be more active with my channel. But I, like I said, I just be so... I have few periods of the day where I'm energetic and can do something. Okay, so here's the front. Here's front. That's weird. Yep. But anyway, side. I got on a dress, I ain't gonna put it all up, but. Yep. I still ain't really started taking pictures. I am still. I'm, well, I finally ga I've gained like a pound, really. My pre pregnancy weight was like 156. Point eight or point six, I got down. I've stayed there. Um, got down to like one fifty six a few days ago, and then I checked this morning. I was one fifty seven point four. Um, I've used the bathroom since then, so I don't know where I am now. But I haven't gained any weight, which is not normal, which is not uncommon for me. Um, my other pregnancies, I didn't gain any weight. 
at all. So, I mean, maybe like a pound, you know, something. But I didn't gain like five pounds or six or ten or twenty. I didn't gain nothing like that. So, yeah, y'all, I will see you guys in. I have an, my original appointment on the 29th. I don't know if they're going to keep it or not. But I'll see. I will see you guys um, in the next video. Hopefully I'll be feeling better. Because I want to be, I want to do some stuff for y'all. I'm trying to be consistent. Anyway, see ya.